Hey, greetings, my friends. Um, I got a gun in my hand. I'm uh, looking to go hunting for a few days next week, and I'm looking forward to it. I haven't hunted big game animals for a while, so I have a really good friend, and he liked my gun. He said, wow, it's a nice gun, but he told me my scope here wasn't very good. He kind of laughed at my scope, and he says, you need a new scope. So because I haven't been hunting a lot, I haven't been searching out hunting, I had to ask him what to buy, and uh, anyway, in the end, we didn't buy the most expensive one, but we still bought a very good scope, and uh, I was just taking a few shots, and I have a target 170 yards away, and I was seeing if I could hit this target, and uh, I was off a little bit, and I readjusted my scope. I took a couple more shots, and I got a little bit closer, and uh, in the process, I'm just thinking about uh, hitting the target, hitting the mark. You know, uh, the Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter 3, he said that, Oh, that I would hit the prize or hit the mark of the calling that God has for me. So I want my rifle scope here to be sighted in. So when I shoot, it's hitting the mark. Because if we see an elk or a deer and uh, we shoot, but the gun is shooting off somewhere else, you know, the animal's going to run away and we're going to spend all that effort and work just to see the animal run away. You know, the gun might be pointed right at the animal, but if it's not lined up to the barrel, the bullet's not going to go where this sight glass is telling you it's going to go. So it has to be adjusted and tuned to hit the mark. You know, with our lives, when we get into the Word of God and we let the Word of God transform our hearts, when we believe the Word and uh, we just take it into our inner spirit, our inner man, and then when we go out to share Jesus, we start to find that it, reading the word is like adjusting the settings on my scope and we start hitting the mark. We start hitting the mark. As the Apostle Paul says that, oh, that I would hit the prize, that I would hit the mark. Sometimes we think it's all about sin and all oh, that we'd stop sinning. But you know, I believe hitting the mark. I'm going to go with an apostle, a brother, a great friend, Lo, to India. We're going to be heading in a week. We're going to do some gospel crusades. Some of you guys in India are even watching this. When we get up and stand up and preach, when we pray for the sick and we pray for the Holy Spirit to be poured upon your lives, we want our understanding, our words to line up with the Word of God, line up with the Spirit of God so that we hit the mark. And that it will bring much life. Like Jesus says, that he has come into the world to give us life and life more abundantly. Yet we can know God and have a certain understanding of God and yet really not know that and not have the life Jesus came to even bring us. So just as I am taking some shots with a rifle here out in my backfield, I also want my life to hit the mark for Jesus Christ that people's lives would see Jesus through me, that you guys would have an encounter with God because I have had an encounter with God and my life would hit the mark. Pray that your life would hit the mark and we would hit the prize for the calling that God has for us. Amen.